The other thing that we know can contribute to cancer risk in dogs is obesity particularly mammary cancer and bladder cancer, have been suggested to contribute to the likely risk of them developing cancer in their lifetime. So obesity, as it does in humans, appears to play a potential role in cancer risk. And so we want to think, as we think about preventing cancer, we want to think about keeping our animals at a good, healthy weight. I will point out that some breed standards are maybe not an ideally healthy weight. There are some breeds, and, and I am a huge fan of pugs in particular, but pugs really tend towards the obese as they, as they look good to us and pleasing to us. And so for your pugs and for your other friends that want to be on the heavy side, we need to feed them appropriately and try to keep them on the light side so we can reduce those risks. And obviously, your body weight, your body condition score is going to vary somewhat by breed and by size size, but keeping them on the lean side appears to reduce the risk of quite a few cancers and even potentially some orthopedic problems in young growing animals. It, it just makes good sense to be healthy in that way. But besides keeping an animal lean, how else can we reduce their cancer, risk of cancer? Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of concrete recommendations that we can say for sure will reduce their risk of cancer. One thing that does appear to be clear is that the risk of bladder cancer is lower in dogs that eat fresh vegetables or natural vegetables as part of their diet. So in a study looking at everything that dogs ate in their environment, including snacks and also their main meals, dogs that were supplemented with vegetables had a lower risk of developing bladder cancer than dogs that weren't supplemented with vegetables. So that's something simple that we can do, and as long as their GI tract tolerates it and we pick vegetables that are, that are easily digestible for them, I do think that feeding vegetables may reduce the risk of cancer. You could look at the vegetables and ask the question, is it the antioxidants or the vitamins in vegetables 